obviously we're coming to an end here right before the election next week. Can you just articulate the three main points that you're trying to drive home to uh, constituents as we approach that Tuesday election? Well, sure. Uh, there are some unfinished business in the state of Illinois, and I think it's, it's quite evident. Uh, we've not uh, been able to pass a balanced budget. We not only need a balanced budget, but we need a comprehensive, sustainable balanced budget. We need to get to work on that, and we need to get to work on it in ways that won't affect the taxpayers' pocketbooks uh, like we've done in the past. So we've conti we continue to make bad decisions in the state of Illinois. Try we drive people out. We drive businesses out. You can see that by our shrinking population and our shrinking tax rolls. Uh, our revenues are down because we, we have not had a good long-term uh, fiscal policy to allow us to uh, participate in any kind of growth like our some of our neighboring states have. So let's get busy. Let's do that. Let's, have, uh, let's get jobs. Uh, let's grow business. Let's balance our budget. And let's think long-term. When we talk about that balanced budget, I feel bipartisan support is always brought up. Is bipartisan support really the key ingredient to make this happen? Are Democrats and Republicans not agreeing with each other because of party affiliation? Well, I think the uh, bipartisanship is, uh, needs to rule the day. Uh, we need to be adults. We don't need to separate ourselves right from the very beginning because of our politics or our philosophy. We need to understand that as, as adults, we need to make good, responsible decisions that affect the taxpayers of the state of Illinois. And we need to, we need to do the most with the tax dollars that we receive from those hardworking taxpayers to do the most to, to make our state work. In the last, I would say, 15 months or so, um, I've heard from you and uh, Darren LaHood uh, term limits. They, that needs to be a thing. Even Governor Bruce Rauner says term limits need to happen. You're a supporter of term limits. Can you talk about how maybe that's an ingredient into all this? Yeah, I know that uh, both myself and, and Congressman LaHood, uh, and at that time State Senator uh, Darren LaHood, introduced bills uh, for term limits in the state of Illinois. Neither one of these, neither his bill or my bill, saw the light of day. They hit a subcommittee and, and went there to die. I am a proponent of term limits. I will not, I do not know, uh, I do not think that there is the, um, enough support in the legislature to have term limits set for an eight-year period. I, I'm willing to go uh, to, to, to start somewhere. We need to start somewhere, and I'm willing to go beyond that, and I'll be working on a bill that I'll be reintroducing again uh, if I'm fortunate enough to win the, this election November 8th. I will be uh, submitting another bill for the next General Assembly uh, for term limits again. And, and why, why is there a need now more than ever for term well, limits? Well, we see what, uh, how Springfield has worked and how the state of Illinois has worked. We currently have a, a, a speaker of the House that's been there for uh, serving for over 40 years and been speaker for over 30 years. Uh, and we see the results of it. Look what we have. Again, we've got a declining population. We're chasing our students uh, student age uh, going to colleges outside of the state of Illinois instead of staying home. Uh, we're losing jobs. We're losing, we're losing those revenues. We're $8 billion in arrears. Uh, the comptroller's doing a fantastic job, but she's got a tough job to do. Uh, we're faced with about over $150 billion of deficit, and most of that goes towards uh, uh, poor funding of our pension programs. A lot of problems. The people that are in there that have been there decades have not solved the problems. We need a turnover. We need a fresh new look. We need also fair maps. And we need to probably get rid of pensions for state legislators. I chose, and I know Congressman LaHood, when he was state senator, chose not to participate in a failing system, which is the pension program for state legislators. To kind of tangent off of the talk of the budget, uh, it was just announced recently that the state of Illinois putting the brakes on millions of dollars for public transportation uh, throughout the state. Can you talk about uh, your knowledge of that, how that's going to impact the state of Illinois? Well, I, I, I would like to. Uh, council has told me that because of my position with the General Assembly, I really cannot endorse or take a position with, a, uh, with something that's going to be on the ballot that affects the Constitution of the state of Illinois. So uh, all I can say is there was a similar resolution to what you're discussing that came before us in, in the House of Representatives, and I supported that resolution. So I think that tells you where I stand. However, I, I just cannot uh, endorse the particular uh, thing that will show up on the ballot. Fair uh, enough. This year. We spoke about a year ago about uh, Illinois being in the top five worst uh, states in the country 
for legal fairness. I believe at the time, uh, ranked number third, as uh, third worst. Uh, but we, the conversation was also talking about enticing businesses to come to Illinois uh, and stay in Illinois. What are you? Do, what are your efforts right now to, to make that happen? Yeah, legal fairness is a, is is something is it's a big issue really for the state of Illinois. It's a reform that needs to happen. Uh, just think about it. It's one it's one item that a business cannot really put a an amount on when they come to Illinois to do business. You know, it's a it's one of those variables that you do you don't really know what this where the roof is on it where where the ceiling is. Uh, they could be drug into court uh, somewhere other than where they're doing business, as, as it works in the state of Illinois, and have a judgment against them for an astronomical amount of dollars that could bankrupt them in, in a heartbeat. We need to have clear and concise uh, work done on reform to that, to that system to, uh, to make sure that uh, that variable is defined a little bit better so that businesses will choose to come to Illinois. Um, since you're going for a re-election, yes. the first 100 days, isn't this, it won't be a brand new experience for you. I feel like when we're always talking to candidates, it's always those first 100 days. If you win re-election, it's right back to work for you. What's on the docket in those first couple of uh, months back on the job? Yes, hopefully uh, before we go back for in January for the new General Assembly, the 100th General Assembly, hopefully we'll have, have had uh, significant work done for uh, towards a balanced budget, uh, towards uh, a budget that will be sustainable and not just something we have to go immediately back to work on. Uh, we need to work on other reforms. So we, we need to make sure we have our pension issue uh, un taken care of. We need to make sure that Medicaid, that uh, ramped up dollars here in, the, in these past uh, three, four, five years, uh, we need to make sure we have that under control so that that doesn't steamroll us. Uh, there are a lot of things that are going to be on our plate. We need to get right back to them, and you're right. We will need to hit the ground running and talk about some serious issues so that long-term health of the state of Illinois can be secure. We always love to talk about what is next. Is there anything that we have not yet discussed that you would like to mention before we end our time today? Well, I think, you know, there, there was an initiative that might have been on the ballot, I guess, that I can comment on, and that is the Fair Map Agreement. I think that's another, that's something else that the legislatures uh, need to take up. We need to take seriously the fact that over 600,000 people cared enough to sign that petition to do something about fair maps. Uh, I think the writing's on the wall. I think we need to do something. I think we need to stand up and take the lead on that. And, we, and, and so that also ought to be a discussion that comes up in this next General Assembly. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.